glass bedding, when combined with a free-floated barrel, is a great way to improve rifle accuracy. Let's take a look at the glass bedding process. We've already pillar bedded this stock for perfect metal-to-metal -metal contact between the action and bottom metal. For this job, I'm using Miles Gilbert Bedrock, bedding tape, chisels, a barrel bedding tool, and some hand screws. We'll remove wood from the entire length of the barrel channel. The chamber area will be bedded snugly for support, but we will free float the barrel. I start by opening up the barrel channel, being sure to protect the top rails. A barrel bedding tool is just the ticket for this job. It's important to work slowly. Now we have plenty of room between the wood and the metal for the bedding compound. Since we want to free float our barrel, we'll need bedding tape for spacing. A layer of tape to the barrel before glassing ensures it will free float once the tape is removed, leaving the chamber area fully supported. Now I can begin removing material from the action area, creating plenty of room for bedding compound. This will give us a glove-like fit once the compound cures. The next step is to prep the barrel to action for bedding using modeling clay. Clay is applied to fill any cuts or pinholes. That looks pretty good. Bedding tape is added to the front and bottom of the recoil lug. Release agent is generously applied to the receiver, chamber, and tape on the barrel. It's important to cover every surface that could come in contact with the bedding compound. Now I can mix up the bedrock using equal parts of resin and hardener along with a little brown dye to match the color of the wood. A generous layer is added to the action area and then the barrel channel. For the four end tip, I've mixed up a smaller batch using black dye. The stock is now ready for the barreled action, which I secure using stock maker screws. Any excess bedding compound should be wiped away immediately. After 24 hours, we can take everything apart and look for a perfect glove-like fit for the barreled action. A file is used to clean up the edges. That looks pretty good. Now the outside of our stock is ready for final shaping and sanding. All that's left is to remove any extra material from the magazine well using a sharp chisel. Now we've got a stock that's completely glass bedded and the barrel is free floating, nearly perfect. 